From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now, here's Hotline Editor, John Mercurio. Welcome to Hotline TV. I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Amy Walter. Mitt Romney's latest campaign ad, Ocean, hit airwaves in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina earlier this week. Let's take a look. I'm deeply troubled about the culture that surrounds our kids today. Following the Columbine shootings, Peggy Noonan described our world as the ocean in which our children now swim. She described a cesspool of violence and sex and drugs and indolence and perversions. She said that the boys who did the shooting had inhaled too deeply in the oceans in which they swam. I'd like to see us clean up the water in which our kids are swimming. I'd like to keep pornography from coming up on their computers. I'd like to keep drugs off the streets. I'd like to see less violence and sex on TV and in video games and in movies. And if we get serious about this, we can actually do a great deal to clean up the water in which our kids and our grandkids are swimming. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approve this message. So, John, how scared are you about the ocean in which our children are now swimming? I am very scared about the ocean Would you in which swim our children in now swim. I would, I don't, I'm not really an ocean swimmer mm. per se. The Potomac you enjoy better? Not so much. I'm mm. more, of a, more of a Potomac uh, Charles River mm. uh, swimmer. Mm. But, you know, look, the, you know, it's interesting. In one way, you've got Peggy Noonan heavily cited in this ad. Right. I'm sure she's a, she's a big fan of this ad. <laughs> um, so it's obviously a little bit of a, 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 a throw to the conservative to conservatives. But it's also, in some ways, almost a general election ad. It's very sort of, you know, trying to please all people at all times. He's talking about things that I think you can probably find um, most people. So we don't, do we have a pro-child porn candidate in the race? We do not have okay. a pro-child. Not that right, I'm aware of. So there we of. go. So the, yeah. Not that I'm aware of. But look, as opposed to his other ads, which were focused on taxes, and I like vetoes, vetoes. because I was yeah. the Republican governor of a Democratic state, uh, so I'm the Republican. It almost it almost seems like it's veering away from that. At the same time, I think trying to make a big impression on conservatives in states Wouldn't like South Wouldn't there be a better way to do it? It just seemed like this sort of very, it's, it, um, I, I don't know. I had no idea that this was a campaign ad, first of all, which may be what they're trying to do, right? Is to That's say, what like, I mean. They they're almost trying sound like to they're make being it post political in a way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the thing about political ads is, you, especially for somebody who has, like, lower name ID than mm -hmm. the rest of the field and really does have to allay concerns from social conservatives about where he stands, maybe you want to be a little more blunt, right? Just take the Mitt tour with the Winnebago and the Sons and Ann Romney. Don't take the dog, but you know don't what I mean? Take, take everybody don't else. Take don't put the don't put Seamus on the roof. But the point is, do something like that and the grandkids, he's got all this stuff. Why why oh, do yeah. why do oceans oh, and I just you gotta lighten up. Let Mitt Romney just be Mitt Romney. Mm. I just think, I like the ad, frankly. I think Did that you really? I don't I'm not a big Peggy Noonan fan, I gotta be honest with you. I think that she she was a little too heavily played in this ad, but I think overall it's an ad that anybody watching it, Democrat, Republican, and maybe he's trying to, you know, pick up some of those independents that John McCain is losing in states like New Hampshire. Anybody watching this ad can find something because it is sort of a smorgasbord can find something in there that right, they say, well, you know what, I kind of agree with you. I sort of thought it was, it reminded me of Mike Gravel a little bit of that one. And Ouch. it also, and I also thought it, it reminded me just also a teeny bit of, maybe there was a, it was a sleep aid or something like that. It really took me a while to sort of get into that. As opposed to the Bill Richardson ads, which, right, you can make the argument whether those are going to be effective or not, whether that's even the right message or not to be talking about, I have the best resume. But when you, when you talk to folks ar around in those early states, they effective. remember, they've been very effective and people remember them. So, that's what I'm saying. So, all right, we're getting out of this social cesspool while we can before we get some sort of skin infection. But um, join us next time, Hotline TV.